everyone welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before i'm doing a um, planner supplies video today to show you um, how i store my supplies and what i use um, so it's not going to feature my planner very much but i've got it here anyway um, there are a couple of supplies in my planner that i'll just go through first so the first thing is my pen so this is a pentel Philography, I think the barrel is called. Um, I got this one as a present from my husband um, and I really like it. It's quite weighty um, but it's a really lovely pen and it's nice and smart. Um, it goes with everything, any kind of decor and they do do it in uh, different colours. I believe he ordered this one from Amazon and it was about £16 um, and then the refills I use in it are the uh, Pentel Energel in free point, um, 0 0.3 and I get those from Gretel Creates and that's my pen that's my everyday pen that I used um, in my planner so the uh, Tombow that I use all the time is N89 and um, the number has rubbed off because I've used it quite a lot um, someone did share a hack, I cannot remember who it was, I think it was Planning with Chloe, um, shared a hack to cover the number in um, sellotape or, or clear tape and then it won't rub off. Um, obviously it's a bit late for this one. <laughs> um, I used some of these uh, black paper clips, these were, were from Plan by Stow um, and also the sticky tabs that I use. For my uh, tabs are from Plan by Stowe as well. I think these are the nude colour. Um, I do have some of her other sticky tabs as well that I'll go through later. Okay, so the next thing I'll go through are my pens that I regularly use. So I am aware this pencil case is way too small. <laughs> I have been trying to find a replacement that looks the same. Um, but it's bigger as um, this doesn't fit Tombow's in it. It's, it's not wide enough. And um, so the, the things that I've got in here, I've got a cheap um, small ruler. I believe that was from Shein. Um, I, <laughs> I have a massive issue with that company and I wasn't aware when I ordered. You'll see I've got some, some other bits from them. If I knew then what I know now, <laughs> I would not have ordered from them so I recommend you purchase yours from a small business instead if you wanted to buy one and um, there are a lot of stationery shops that do similar so I would recommend ordering from them instead and avoid Shein or Sheen altogether. I've also got a um, spare pen refill in here and um, this lives in my drawer by the sofa so it's to hand all the time the rest of my stuff lives in my office upstairs and um, so I've got one of these handy if my pen runs out while I'm in the middle of planning and um, I've got Tombow 942 so I've only got the Tombows in here that I'm using currently for my current colour code um, so I've got Tombow 942 850 which is like a peachy colour um, and then I've got Faber-Castell Light Indigo. Um, I really like these Faber-Castell pens. I use them for artwork as well. Um, and they are a lot daintier <laughs> than Tombow's. They're not quite as big, but they, they do look nice. Um, and they work really nicely as well. And they do have a, um, a thinner tip on them compared to Tombow. So this is um, Lilac 239. <clears throat> uh, Tombows are a much, <clears throat> much larger nib. I've got a just a pair of small scissors, a tape eraser. Although I don't really use this, to be honest, I just cross things out um, neatly with one line. Um, <clears throat> these were some pen refills that I was trying out when I was trying to find a replacement because I couldn't get the ones that I usually use anywhere. Um, but I did obviously manage to get them from Gretel Creates. 
Um, I've got two friction pens, probably don't need two in there. <laughs> um, these are 0.7 friction pens. I used to use these for meal planning, um, but I just use pencil now. I, I much prefer writing with pencil. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I never got on well with friction pens. They never seem to rub out very well. And um, this is Faber-Castell again. This is an Apollo 2325 mechanical pencil. And um, so that is now what I use for meal planning. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I've got a really croaky voice today. I do apologise, keep clearing my throat. Um, it's a 0.5 nib. I believe you can get different um, uh, thicknesses of nib. Is that the word? <laughs> um, for this, but it's a really nice mechanical pencil. It's, it's sort of triangle shaped. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Um, but it's really nice to hold um, and of course in my favourite colour. <laughs> um, I've got a Unipin uh, Uni 01 oil-based marker pen and um, that is for writing on transparent sticky notes. Um, this is a Koi brush pen in the colour Cool Grey. So this is the swatch of the colour. So it's like a nice dark purpley bluey sort of colour. I've got a standard pencil from Hey Little Magpie. Um, I used to buy scrapbooking supplies from them. And I've got a pair of tweezers. I think these were from Amazon. They're just craft tweezers. They're really handy for stickers. So um, this also, this was from Amazon as well. Um, it's just a, a little pencil case and um, the zip is really, really stiff. So, oh, actually, it's not too bad. Um, I think I found one that is square shaped and long enough for Tombow. So um, I'll probably get that at some point, but I am on no spend at the moment. So that's quite annoying. Um, does anyone else find when they're on no spend, they find loads of stuff that they want? <laughs> It's really annoying. I never find any clothes that I like. And now I'm on no spend. There's loads of stuff I found that I really like. It's really irritating. <laughs> so that's everything that's in there. Hopefully it'll get its pencil case soon so it will fit in. And the next thing is sort of a planner supply. So it's my iPad. And this is an iPad Mini 4. And I use um, Google um, Calendar as a planner supply, I suppose. Um, and obviously use YouTube to watch planner videos. Um, so this is sort of the way I have it set up. It's quite minimal. Um, and yeah, Google, Google Calendar, I think everyone knows. Um, so that's another thing that helps me plan. Um, this, the camera won't go out quite far enough. Let's see if I can. There we go. You can see a bit of my floor as well. Um, so this is a um, Fiskars paper trimmer. Um, this I got from Amazon. Um, it extends out like that. So you can cut further up. I've got a little mark here where um, I trim my Franklin Covey compact ties. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not amazing. I do one sheet at a time, um, but it, it does the job. I've had a lot of different paper trimmers in the past and this is definitely the best one I've had. Um, it's still not brilliant, but it's much better than the ones that you lift up and sort of cut down, if that makes sense. The sort of guillotine style ones. The next thing I've got is a Dymo Letra tag. Um, so this is what I use to make the labels for my um, uh, page tag tabs. Um, so this has got white paper in it at the moment, but I have got a clear, clear tape one as well. Um, and that was from Amazon as well. It's not too expensive. It works really well. Um, I'll just show 
show you. So you can see here where it says tasks. That was made with the label maker. But what's great about this is it looks really nice against my other dividers. Um, and you can make it say whatever you want and it's really easy to do. Um, so I think that's that was a really good investment in my opinion. And you can use it around your home as well to label things. My husband loves it because <laughs> everything is labelled even when it doesn't need to be. Um, so the next thing is this box. So this is a cheap box from Ikea. It's, it's a Samler, I think it's called. I haven't got the label on it anymore. Um, and it was only a pound, but it fits my planner stuff in it perfectly. Um, so first I've got this Gretel Creates bag. I'll just zoom out again. There we go, that's a bit better. So I've got this Gretel Creates um, glassine bag and that's just got extra pen refills in there. I've got my Repesco six hole punch in a nice pink. I hate this pink, it's horrible. <laughs> um, but it does the job. Um, it does, I, I do usually have it taped shut there because it keeps flipping open. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so that does the job. Um, that's the only one I've ever had, so I can't really compare it to anything. I've got a sort stuff out envelope. And in here I've got some, some of those sticky card holders um, from Sort Stuff Out. And I've got some uh, sort of journaling card deco type things in there. Um, I've got a, an A6 lists pad from Studio 17, which is really handy for busy days. <clears throat> I've got one of these little um, pouches. This was from Shein as well. Um, a lot, a lot of other shops do them though, um, and I just keep my bigger sheets of stickers in there. I've got this little accordion folder. This was also from Shein, and this has got all of my various little sticker sheets in it. Um, so these are the ones that I use most often. And then these are sort of my backstock and like samples and things. Um, <clears throat> so I've got some clear sticky notes from Plan by Stow at the front. Um, I've got this sticker book, sticker pad from Paper Tarry. I've got these AliExpress dots, which I think I ordered from Amazon. Um, I've got Paper Tarry, Ickle & Co. Uh, this is a shop called Bell's Papery, which disappeared shortly after I ordered <laughs> those stickers, so that doesn't actually exist anymore. Uh, Harriet Wright Designs, I don't think she does sticky dots anymore, which is a shame because they were the perfect colours. Um, Plan by Stowe, Happy Cutie Studio. The colour dot. Oh, look, I'm covered in stickers. <laughs> no, that's not coming off. That's never coming off. <laughs> um, Studio 17 again. And these ones at the back are, they're sort of character stickers. Um, I really don't use those anymore. It's not really my style, but um, I keep them because I do like them. I just, it's just not my style. That's just a blank label for covering things up. So they will stay in there. I've got one of these. Um, <clears throat> this was from Shein as well, but I believe you can get them on Amazon. I've just got my um, sticky page flags in here. These are all planned by Stowe, um, organised by colour. And then these are Paper Tarry icon stickers. And at the back I've just got some various brands. So they're the ones that I use the most often. And then in the other one, I've just got all of the extras 
that I don't use, that one should go in the other one. <laughs> um, these are all um, planner cards that I've made myself and um, page flags that I don't use as often. And then I've got this folder again was from Shein, but you can get from elsewhere as well. These are all um, dashboards that I've made previously. So there are not too many in there. And then I've just got some Happy Planner stickers um, and some, some of those with Kiki K. Um, they are just for deco if I want it. Um, these are just because they were cute and that is everything so that's my no spend tracker for next month that i've printed out already so yeah that's everything that is my entire apart from a couple of blocks of square um post-it notes upstairs and a couple of rolls of neutral washi tape which are also upstairs that is my entire collection of planning stuff which is a lot yet less than it used to be i used to have tons and tons of planner stuff but i just don't feel the need anymore it doesn't like none of the sort of decorative stuff was helping me plan um and i feel like i'm at a place now where i'm happy with what i've got um i'm still struggling to use everything that i do have because some of the things just aren't my style anymore um, and the way that I plan, there isn't really a lot of room for stickers and deco and I do find it quite distracting sometimes. So I do still think I've got quite a lot for what I actually use, but I don't want to sort of throw it away and waste it. So it's finding that middle ground really, I think, where you you use what you've got but if it doesn't work for you then <laughs> you know what what were you supposed to do with it so um i i barely buy anything anymore now obviously as i said i i struggle to use what i've got so um if i do need anything i tend to just make stuff for myself um so I'm quite lucky that i am able to do that but um if you've got any questions or anything, um, I am happy to ask, answer any questions. I, I do like getting questions and having discussions and things. So um, if you do have any questions, just let me know and um, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.